What's up guys, Chad with Character Club. Super excited, I'm just wrapping up a, a new drawer system for a client who is a ham operator. And, and he also has a brand new Land Rover Defender. So I, I was super stoked to get this, uh, get this client and you know, take his vision and bring it to life. So this video is gonna be short and sweet. I'm gonna go over that and that's it. So let's get, let's get right to it. Let's get this done. Yeah. All right, so front of the system, uh, two, so you got double drawers on the left or the driver's side with these push button slam latches. And then they also have uh, vertical dividers uh, about every three and a half inches in here. So ample space, I'll show an angle of that. Um, and then this is the main slide. And usually people will have a, usually people will have a fridge slot that like this would, your fridge would sit on it. But again, he's a ham operator. So he has a box that will fit this space. It's called a gator box. And when he gets to whatever place he's going and he's gonna set up shop, he's gonna slide this out. And so we have two locking slides. The cool thing about this is because he's using this at, you know, to operate his equipment, he needs to be able to access all the controls which are actually on this side of the box. So imagine the box will come up to about here and then all the dials and such for the radio equipment will be on this side. And when he's at on location, he has a work table. So he has a really nice, this is about a 32 inch work table um, with a marine grade starboard top glued to uh, three quarter inch plywood. He'll have his computer here and if he needed to operate the dials in a conventional drawer system, he'd have to kind of go here and do it. So what we did is made that so this actually swivels. And I, what I did is I used a bar stool swivel, which they're rated for like 300 pounds, so it'll be plenty strong enough. So now as he's here, he'll be able to operate all of his equipment, easy access to everything. And then when he's ready to go, all he has to do is close that, it latches, and ready to close it back up. Let me show you how it latches. So the latching is done by magnets. So what I did is I recessed one inch uh, neo, the neodymium magnets, I'm probably saying it wrong, um, and worked worked out great. The two magnets is actually overkill, it's very strong. Could have actually only used one. And right here we have the, the NOCO plug. So this is the plug in to shore power. And then this is the 50 amp solar input. Won't be actually 50 amp, but you know, he can put a 100 watt panel, 200 watt panel. It'll connect directly to the manager 30. And this is, gonna, this is all wired up. Uh, we have heavy duty mounts. This'll keep his box mounted to the actual platform. And then on each side, we have these heavy duty D-ring terminals that are all the way through uh, with with T-nuts and quarter, quarter inch bolts along with M6 turnbuckles. So really big, heavy duty stainless steel turnbuckles. And because I only went with the locking slides on, on the one side, you can actually one hand operate, do this as an operation. Uh, Vidania, I believe is the name of the company of the slides. I'm gonna have a link in the description below to them. Uh, I'll be using their slides also in Cyborg, super excited about that. I have a big 60 inch slide coming. And yeah, so hope you like it. Oh, almost forgot uh, the front trim panel for the driver's side. And we have three more Anderson power pole plugs on this side and a pass through for your hand because in the Land Rover Defender, there's uh, buttons 
to allow you to raise and lower the suspension. So he'll have access to those buttons, um, no problem there. And as always, uh, we've got at least probably about three coats of Raptor liner paint, the two part urethane epoxy paint uh, as the finish. All right, so just wrapped up doing the wiring, putting it all together. I actually have the shipping company on their way, so I'm just gonna box this up, get it ready for shipping, and then it'll be off to the customer. So you can see it's all wired up. This is fantastic back here. Let's back up. Okay, so we have the Egon system. It's all in. Uh, customer's gonna in, in, install fuses. He's got eight separate uh, up to 25 amps uh, circuits, one 50 amp solar input, 50 amp uh, Anderson plug, ready to connect to his Battleborn battery, fused, Red Arc Manager 30, shore power, solar input, four power pole connectors, this is the 50 amp output, Red Vision display, two high power USB ports, 110 outlet for the factory system, full lock in, lock out slide with desk. Hope you like it, guys. New Land Rover Defender drawer system, custom on its way to Texas. So yeah, that's gonna wrap things up. Super excited to be able to do this project and take the idea and bring it to life. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, go ahead and post them in the comments below. I'll have links to different stuff down there as well. And, you know, if you have an idea for a drawer system, go ahead and hit me up. Shoot me an email. Go over to the website, drawersystems.com, and let's talk about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great week, and we'll see you in the next video.